Good morning. I'm at Burnham on Sea. I'm just waiting for my mate Matt, who's over there. That is the Burnham on Sea lighthouse, which I've never been to before. Seen pictures of it. It looks amazing in pictures. I can't believe I'm here today. Um, meet Matt, and here he is running. <laughs> the light. We missed the light. We got it about 20 minutes after sunrise. So the light is hitting the side of the, uh, the, the lighthouse. So I'm going to put this camera down dead quick and try and get a photograph because I've just spotted a reflection in the water there with the lighthouse in there. That's fantastic. Morning, mate. How are you? Morning. All right? <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it. It was hot and tight as fast, but I wasn't expecting it that fast. <laughs> well, I was going to talk to you, but as Matt says, the tide is mega fast. So it's literally, how far out? It's now here. It's here. Five minutes ago, it was <laughs> it's like over there. What there. <laughs> You're lucky you moved your lens. What? Oh, what? Your lens gone. <laughs> I have literally never seen anything like this. Less than five minutes ago, we were stood probably 10 meters out there. It's, but even now, I've moved everything to get in to talk, to try and talk to you, try and film something, trying to film something of that, what's going on with the camera. And the tide is already by next to my feet. I can't believe it. I've never seen anything like it. We, we, we had, well Matt had told me that the tide, let me zoom out a little bit, uh, Matt had told me that the tide does come in notoriously fast here because it's so flat, but I can't, it's nuts, it really is nuts. But anyway, okay, I can't really show you actual b-roll of the, of the shot I got. Um, there was a guy walking his dog by the lighthouse, which is, am I in the way of the lighthouse? I'm standing in the water. There was a guy walking his dog over there, and that really, 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 really helped balance the sort of, the, the composition really nicely because initially I was using the lighthouse on the right hand side a lot of um, e empty space nice minimalistic modern looking image and then this guy came out with his dog who now knows I was photographing him because he just walked past me as I talked to you <laughs> um, and he was throwing it and the dog was going out to the, to the to the left of the lighthouse so that kind of balanced and had some more interest in the, in the, in the image as well um, I had a bit of a job because I had set the photograph that the camera was going to keep it on the camera um, I had set the exposure up to do like a, a two or three second exposure just to get rid of the ripples in the water because I wanted to try I was desperately trying to get this reflection um, that was when, when the tide was out enough there was a little there was a couple of little pools and the reflection was really nice so I desperately wanted to get that there was lovely light on the side of the lighthouse which is gone now um, but yeah it's been mental mental chaos I've got a couple of images in the first five minutes but yeah no chance to film but what has been important is literally keeping it everything minimalistic nice it's such a minimalistic nice modern looking lighthouse I've never seen anything like it it's fantastic I know Matt's really, really had his heart set on getting a long exposure um, with the water completely flat and some motion in the clouds, but there isn't really anything in the way of clouds right now. So, oh, that's it. Yeah, we need to go. <laughs> right then, let's try again. Welcome to Burnham on Sea Lighthouse. Isn't it pretty? It's fantastic. Very square, modern looking. I love it, it's brilliant. You can relax now, because when we first got here, and, and yeah, the light on the side of it was really nice, and uh, just had to panic a little bit. I have no, and the tide's still coming in now, so what am I gonna do? Matt's just over there. Um, I think I like this composition. Just have it, I'm gonna wait basically for the tide to come in, because obviously, give it two minutes, it's gonna be where we're standing. Um, and I'm gonna go for long exposure, as I'm sure Matt is as well and that will probably be about 60 seconds if the tide will permit um, just to get every single ripple gone out of the sea there's no motion in the clouds and even if there is any motion in the clouds there's no definition in the clouds so any long exposure there is going to be wasted in the clouds and to be honest with you what i found recently with experimenting with long exposures is uh, anything more than a minute and you risk losing that detail in the cloud anyway so um yeah there's literally Lightroom might be able to pull some back with the clarity, I don't know, we'll try, we'll see what happens. I might put a gradient on the top just to darken it down, but I'm going to get a sort of like a six stop filter on there now, I think, just to get me a one minute, one minute exposure. The depth of field really isn't that important because it's literally just making sure that the, uh, the lighthouse is sharp on the uh, right hand side. That's going to be my right third, I think, and having a lot of white space then on the left hand side just to give it a nice, simple, uh, almost fine art look. I've not got long to put my bag down, I know that.
Whoa. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. I've never ever seen a tide like it. And that is it, the tide is in again. Flipping ridiculous. I was using, there was a bit of land just sticking out there. I was using that as kind of a shape that would bring your eye up to the lighthouse. But I did a one minute exposure there and I think I've lost that already. So I'm not even sure if that worked. <laughs> Right, let's try again, shall we? There is a bit of land, if you can see it. Just a bit of land sticking out just in front of the lighthouse there. And I'm trying to use that as the water comes round it, which is pretty much there. <laughs> so within a one minute exposure, that water's gonna be plenty of motion around that shape. Hopefully, that'll balance the right hand side of the image and then sort of lead your eye up to the lighthouse. And just, I mean, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be an awful lot of white on the left hand side, but I think it'll make a really nice, interesting sort of modern, fine art looking image. I think it'd be nice. Oh, I forgot what I was on. So I'm on it, I'm at 5.6 because literally the depth of field isn't that important in this image. Um, one minute exposure, ISO 200 and I've got the, uh, the six stop filter on there as well just to make sure the water's completely flat. Um, there is a polarizer on there but the polarizer isn't doing anything. <laughs> Right, so I've moved the camera over to put the lighthouse on the left of the composition and Matt is standing on a little island over there. <laughs> a bit of sand sticking out. So I've shouted to him to stand still for as long as he can. I'm still at f5.6 but I've put the exposure down to 30 seconds because one minute was just too long for him to stand there. But yeah, we're still going to get the nice motion in the water. This should be really, really cool. He's had, he's had to pick his bag up though because the time is going in that fast. Three, two, one. Let's have a look see how that looks. Very cool, I like it. How you getting on mate? Yeah, good. Yeah. Getting good shots? Yeah, I just keep getting trapped off by the tide. It's just, <laughs> it just comes in so quick, turn round and literally like ankle deep in seawater. Are you doing a long exposure yeah, now? Yeah? Just finishing, waiting for this to come in. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I like this because you've got a flat profile view, you have it. Bang on square. It was funny because I got a picture of you looking this way and you're on your own little island. And then I was like, stand still, stand still, don't move. And then realise that you're going to have to move because your bag's going to be in the water. I was literally like, like that. I can't, I've got to you, you, you said like, oh, stand still for 10 seconds. I was like, no, no, no. Hold on, wait. <laughs> Shiny new bag. He loves his new bag. <laughs> I'm going to go out the same shot as Matt. I think I really like the front flat, simple aspect of this, uh, this composition here. But it's basically keeping the, the lighthouse bang in the middle of the frame and then obviously you're gonna have lots of motion all around it, so it's just gonna be completely isolated. And it works extremely well, I imagine, in black and white, being as though it's black and white. There is a bit of blue, though, in the sky, isn't there? Just a bit. A bit I think color. that blue might come out as well, so maybe the blue, warm that blue up. Um, I think that might work as well, so yeah, it'd be really nice. So this one's a 60 second exposure at f5.6 as well. to weigh up. <laughs> it is as well. <laughs> it is. <laughs> weed up the tripod. <laughs> the dog literally weed up the tripod. Leave that in there for a little while. Get out your way. So yeah, putting the Matt and I we decided that It'd be really cool if we could get the cameras really low to the ground and make it like the stilts of the, of the lighthouse kind of on the horizon as close as they could be. Um, we don't think the tide's going to come in any further, <laughs> say that now, <laughs> with the bags on the floor. So we've literally got the, uh, the stilts, we're trying to get the stilts, we've got the, the cameras as low to the floor as possible, trying to get the bottom of the, uh, the lighthouse to sit on the horizon. And that'll be really nice. I've done a few shots, I've done one zooms in a little bit, about 55 mil. I think my favourite one's going to be about 35mm with quite a lot more space around it and having the lighthouse right to the bottom of the frame. <laughs> oh, 
chier ici. <rire> oh. Quand même. <rire> oh. Jesus. Quand même, non, ouais. Ça dit, Jay. Tu sais, mais c'est un tour. Long exposure. Long exposure. Hour and a half. <laughs> F16, 15 seconds. 15 seconds. There we go. Any good? Yeah. Very nice. All good to go? All good. Yeah? You yeah. Good shots? I think so. How about yeah. you? <laughs> Hard to tell. <laughs> Yours look nice in the back of your camera. Yeah, <laughs> like that, and then you get onto a big fade too. Like, it did look really, oh. really good. But fantastic location. I can't believe we discovered at the last minute the little tripods. The little tripods, <laughs> and it's like, hold on. <laughs> Put them right on the floor. I'm just thinking, isn't it a shame? Should we dig the sand around the big tripods to get them lower? No, let's no, just use the mini, mini tripod. <laughs> it was really good fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Burnham on Sea Lighthouse. It's Matt's idea. Um, I've come to Bristol to do a bit of street photography, and um, yeah. Matt suggested the idea of a sunrise down here, fantastic. So yeah, we're gonna head to Bristol now for some street photography. I'll put the uh, link to that video up there as well. Um, I'll drop Matt's Instagram. He's a big Instagram fan. Is it Instagram or Twitter you're on? More Twitter. More but Twitter. Instagram's getting there now. Yeah, yeah. Getting I'll put at, um, Matt's details down there so you can check him out and follow him as well. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the photographs. It was a good laugh anyway. And I'll see you again next time. Take care. <laughs> oh, come on, mate. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> you can't, no way. <laughs> I did, yeah. Did you see me?